Josiah, Zach, thanks for sitting down with us today. We're loving being in Dallas with you guys. I mean, Nashville does not have the Mexican food that Dallas has. So I've been going nuts here. It's probably not but, healthy. But but Dallas does not have the scenery that Nashville has. So yeah. we have reasons to be jealous for each other. It's right? the trade-off. That yeah, just okay, means we have okay. to visit each other a lot. That, yeah, that's it. That's it. We're in. Um, so y'all wrote the song, Who Else, uh, on the new record, Crown Sound. I'd love to hear the story behind that song. Yeah, totally. So we uh, we had a, a writing day that was set up by Hope Adams, one of our leaders on the team. She sets up all of our writing events and everything. And we we invited some of our crosstown family, uh, the Upper Room crew, came over with some of their writers. So um, we had that writing day set up on like a Monday or something like that. And I remember uh, on Sunday, like like every great song idea, uh, <laughs> I was in the shower. Yep. And right. yep, exactly. So it's unbelievable yep. how many songs start there. <laughs> Absolutely in the shower yeah. so uh so i just i don't know i was thinking about something our, our senior pastor had this sermon um that he preached it, it's part of a series that he's done a couple different times throughout the life of our church uh but it's really uh where he talks about this idea that we are um instruments to exalt the lord um that he gave us vocal cords and he gave us hands we can clap we have percussion yep. we have wind string, instruments wind, yeah strength wind, yep. yep and so it was something i was thinking about and i just had this line pop into my head about being an instrument of exaltation uh i think the next line i have was like born to lift the name of the one who's worthy or something like that we ended up changing it by the time we got to the rest of the right but. yeah we walked in the room and josiah was like i've got you know i've got this idea um just talking about you know the 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 grandness the grandiose nature of god you know yeah. the vastness of him um and it starts with like we're born to lift up his name you know and we're like okay cool we'd love to hear the line you know and he's like i am an instrument of exaltation and i was like okay all right i guess we're gonna start there and now yeah. every other line has to kind of match that <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know standard and yeah it was a great you know really fun thing to chase down because it it did allow us to go in this poetic direction with the lyric um, and kind of explore that thought of, we were literally created for this purpose. We totally. were created to give God praise. We have, right. like you said, these yep. instruments within us. And then what do we do with these things? Well, we have to give them to the one who's worthy. Right. So who is that? Yep. And then we find that that's God. And I was thinking about the scripture. I'm going to try to do this one-handed to get to Psalm 89. Here we go. It's coming, Esther, Job, Let's Psalm. Go. Let's go. Let's try not to go past it. I went past it. I tried. To, I tried not to. You, but Psalm, Psalm 80, ninety-five. Yeah, you did pretty good. Psalm actually. eighty-nine, verses uh, five through eight. I'll just read it quickly. Yeah. It says, "Let the heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies?" can be compared to the Lord. Who among the heavenly beings is like the Lord, a God greatly to be feared in the counsel of the holy ones and awesome above all who are around him. O Lord God of hosts, who is mighty as you are, O Lord, with your faithfulness all around you. And it keeps on going, but it's just this picture of even in Job, when Job, or God finally comes to Job and says, where were you whenever I you know, flung the stars in the sky. Where were you? This is the Zach Rowe paraphrase, but yeah. Yeah. where were you when I created all of this? Mm -hmm. And he kind of puts Job in his place a little bit. And I love that when we worship God, we can think about how great he is and it makes our problems and the things that we go through feel like they get put in their correct perspective. You yeah. said it was even like a challenge when we wrote the chorus. Yeah, when we got to the chorus, there was I, I, we had a melody or something. It was the melody that we ended up going with for the chorus. And we were just trying to find like what felt right to sing yeah. because we had these verses where we had kind of dived into this thought of it really like, like acknowledging that you're an instrument of exaltation acknowledges that you are lesser than, that you are submitted to something else, right? Totally. So we're like, man, like we're taking a submissive posture in this song. Yeah. Um, but also recognizing our place as believers in Jesus. And like, we, like the battle is won. Like yeah. we have victory through that. And so I think that's where we kind of went on the chorus was this idea of, we wanted it to feel a little bit defiant um, when, we're, when we're asking that question in the chorus, who else is worthy? There isn't anyone else. Yeah. And acknowledging that, that, that we wanted it to feel like something that is like a little like, oh, wow, I have to really ponder this for a second. But that's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and there are plenty of things that want to exalt themselves to the place that the Lord alone deserves in our lives. Yep. And, th and I think that kind of forces the listener and the worshiper to, to reconcile that reality that there is only one person worthy of that place in our lives. Yeah. So. That's good. I love that. And I love where that course takes us to. It would be so easy to sit on the idea of 
being an instrument of exaltation right. and then start to describe like who God has made me to be. Right. And then we get stuck right. in ourselves. Right. So That's right. to then point that back to him, have these moments to then just give praise. And you are right. I mean, if, if I've got something going on in my life, the best thing that I can do is to just exalt the name of Jesus. Right. More than just even like trying to speak to this thing and like, yeah. you know, be gone in the name. What? No, I'm just going to lift him up. And then as we do that, as we exalt him, we watch life change around us. Right. Um, and I think that's really great. I think it's incredible. Also, I mean, in leading worship, both of y'all are worship leaders. One of the coolest things I think we get to do is we get to give language for people to speak out over their own lives Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, yes, yeah. And there's power of life and death in the tongue. That's right. And when they're able to sing, that's not that's not a phrase that I'm going to walk around on a Wednesday and just like, hey, I'm Terrell. I'm an instrument of exaltation. <laughs> but on Sunday, for me to be able with, with my own mouth to, to make that declaration, and right. I love that you said, like, it, it submits me. Right. It actually, it, but it, it, it puts me in order is what it does. That's it actually right. gives us our our function. That's right. Yeah. This is, this is who God's created to me, right. me to be. And now I'm going to get to give it back. So I That's love right. that. Yeah. It's a directive lyric, you know, to sing that even as the first line of the song, we've, we've had the chance now to lead the song a few times in our church. And really, when we're writing songs, that's for me. That's that's where I'm envisioning. Totally, this song is is in our house. When when all of our people gather together, they come in from whatever they've been going through throughout the week, and they've come to worship the Lord. And we bring all these different perspectives and all these different expectations to the weekend. But when you say a line like that at the beginning, I'm an instrument of exaltation, and I was born to lift the name, born to lift your name above all names. Yep. It's like to hear the person next to you singing that too is like, oh yeah, like there's actually more going on than just whatever I brought into the yeah, room that's today, right. you know? Yep. And yeah. there's one that's greater, you know? That's and we right. came to, to look to him, it's great. Yeah, man. Love that. That's really good. And I mean, if anyone missed it, you just gave us where to put the song. Song one, <laughs> try, if you're gonna try the song out, <laughs> put it. it at song one yeah. and see, what, see how it changes the rest of your set. Yeah, I love you, that. Yep, yep, it yeah. start, it'd be starting a little bit lower, but I think there's there's space for that you for, can, sure. You can build so, up for sure. I love that, no, sure. 100%, 100%. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, man. Well guys, totally. thanks for sitting down with us, really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Honor to be with you, thank yeah, you. Of course.